I know that there are some people out there who may pray, who may say to God, hey God, send more people my way because I want to help more people to get close to you, to give their lives to you, so on and so on. Some of us say this, but in fact, some of us have no idea of what we have to go through and the responsibility that it takes to bring a person to God. Some of us are the type that really gets hurt over very small things. Some of us, <laughs> we believe that bringing people to God should be really easy. So when it becomes hard, what some of us may do, we may give up or throw away that person that is causing us trouble. Is that the right thing to do? I don't think so. Now, in some cases, you are going to have some people that are going to be easier than other people to bring to God. But in some cases, it is not always going to be easy. Some cases, you are going to come, some difficult people are going to come your way. So you have to sit there. Hey, what should I do? Should I toss this person to the side or should I stay patient, stay compassionate, stay understanding, so on and so on. Because you can't say to God, hey God, I want you to send these type of people to me only. People who are easy to begin serving God. I only want you to send these type of people toward my way. You can't say that to God. I believe this. When God may send us difficult people, I believe that it is a test unto us. I believe God is trying to strengthen something within us. So what if you toss away that person and God is trying to strengthen something within you? Okay, another person that you are going to meet, it is going to be the same way. Then if you toss away that person, then when you meet another person, that person is going to be the same way. It is going to continue to be that way until whatever is in you is fixed or gets stronger. So what is the solution when you begin to work with difficult people? Prayer. I know for myself, I don't really like to give up on people because the thing that we have to understand, and I am not saying the way that they are acting is acceptable. I am not saying that, but some people take or takes hardships in different ways. And we have to be compassionate even more to those type of people. We can't just throw them to the side and then they go and die in hell. Even if you have to suffer a bit with that person, so be it. Isn't that 
tiny bit of suffering worth that person potentially going to hell. I mean, going to heaven. <laughs> so even if you have to suffer a bit, why not? If your suffering or your patience with that person continuing to be on that person's side, if that is going to help that person, why not do it even if you have to suffer a bit? I know I don't like suffering either. I really don't. But we are not living for ourselves. We are living this life, yes, for ourselves, but for other people. So once we get right with God, we have to go out and make sure that other people get right with God too. We can't just think about ourselves. Now, it would really make things easier for me and other people <laughs> if we would only look out for ourselves. But it is not made to be that way. It is not. Let's go to Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, a bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. So what is verse 12 saying? People of God, people who are following God's rules and regulations, be merciful, be kind, have humility, be gentle, be patient. Verse 13, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. So what is forbearing one another? Bear each other. Be compassionate. Be patient with people. No matter how many times they may get on your nerves, no matter how many times they test your patience, in some cases, I believe this, some people have psychological issues, demons, so they don't realize to a certain extent what they are saying and doing to the people that are helping them. Because if you have seen my other videos, usually when people have psychological issues, they have been hurt in the past. So they don't deal with their issues in the correct manner. So what they do, they overcompensate in a certain area. They don't deal with their issues. So they change their personality trait and they build this false image of themselves and they project it. But deep down inside, they are very soft, they are very vulnerable. I won't say weak. Weak is not really a word that I want to use. But they cry easily, they get hurt easily, so what they do like I said, they project this false image of themselves, making you think that they are something that they are not. This happens a lot, more than what you think. For instance, if you see a person that is overly, overly confident. Now, there is nothing wrong with being confident, but there is this thing where you see overconfidence. If you see that, that is a dead giveaway right there. No one should ever be overly confident. That shows you that is not how that person is. 
they are just projecting, which shows you there is an issue. So we have to be patient with people like that. People who have, who are really conceited. People who are really overly rude. Not overly rude, but yes. Like really, really rude. Like, why are you that way? There is an issue. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. So we have to be patient with people. We have to bear people. We can't just leave people because they are acting foolish. Now, it would make things easier if we could do that, but we can't. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So if you have an issue with a person, forgive them, even if it is small, large, whatever else. Even if a person made you mad or said some really rude things to you, if that person needs help again, you should allow that person back into your life. You should be willing to help that person still. Nothing is beyond, how can I say this? No matter what a person did to you, you still should be willing to help that person out. Even if you have to bring along other people with you to help that person out. I pray that this makes sense. You may not be able to do exactly what they need, but you still are able to help that person out. I pray that makes sense there. I really hope so. God bless.